All right. Good day for our session today. We will be working on our Mendeley application. So for this activity, you're expected to use our Mendeley software and integrate it into our Word uh, processor. So for this case, uh, before we can use our Mendeley, we need to create our own account. So for this uh, for this scenario, uh, kindly visit Mendeley.com. That's, that's the website here. Okay. Or you can Google it and type Mendeley. And then you need to create an account. So select create account on the website for you to create your account. So you can also click it here. Okay. So in my case, since I'm already registered, so I'll be redirected into the sign in um, page of this uh, website. In your case, you need to complete all the details of your uh, registration and a confirmation email will be sent to your email. And I would suggest that you use your personal email to register in Mendeley. All right. So, and after uh, having the email, try to log in and see if you can already work with your Mendeley application. All right. So next thing is to download our Mendeley. So you can browse over the download button, click on the download, and then you can select either for Windows or for uh, Mac. I believe it's, it does have it for Mac OS, right? And for our Linux also. So if you are using uh, Windows, then you click here for the Windows update. Okay, right? So, and we have release notes here. Let's check. We are currently using or it's the latest stable release. We have 2.64. So I would suggest you download the very first um, versions of it. Let's try an earlier version. In my case, I am using only the 1.9 version of this Mendeley. Okay. So after that, you need to install the application so that it will be embedded directly into your computer. Now, after the installation, you'll be able to see it on your desktop or on your um, computer, just type uh, Mendeley. Okay. I'll show you the application. It's Mendeley Desktop. Click to it. And it will now open your Mendeley Desktop. Don't forget the login credentials that you registered in the website. So let's try to log in. Okay, so the application will open and if you want to do a quick tour, you can actually visit their website and you'll have there the um, support now. You can browse over help guys here. Okay, citation plugin, the desktop, the Mendeley site, and so on. Okay. So on their desktop, oops. Okay, let's reopen. And there's a problem with the application. I think maybe the support. So I'm currently using the Windows 11 version of my OS. I think there's an issue with its application. Let's try. All right, so here, um, if you want to integrate this one on your Word, so for now, I will not update this one, so I'll just click not now. And to integrate this Mendeley application or your desktop into your Word, you can go on the tools and then you will see it on your first installation, you will see it install MS Word plugin. So let me first uninstall it. It's now uninstalled. So it's install web reporter install MS Word plugin. So I'll go into my Word. Let's open our Word application and see if it's Present. Okay. All right. So under references, there is no end delay. All right. So let's check. Let's try to install again. Okay. And it must be closed. Continue. All right. All right. So the application will close and then as uh, verify. If it's already installed as plugin 
or MS Word. Okay, let's go to references. And now you can see the Mendeley. <laughs> okay. All right, so next thing, let us try now to browse over the Mendeley desktop. So this is your Mendeley desktop. And for the older version, they do have this literature search on the left side, the top left side. Hey, when you click the literature search, you can just key in any keyword that you wanted. So let's check first what's the version of this one. Uh, I'm currently using version 1.19.6 version. It's the very old version also. And then um, it has its uh, literature search button here. Okay, say, for example, you wanted to do a research, say, um, maybe you'll go with agriculture. Okay, agriculture. And once you hit enter, it will all, uh, it will show you all possible studies about agriculture. So here, example, what is the impact of COVID-19 disease on agriculture? So it's a study, okay? And so the authors here, the journal, and so on. Example of Internet of Things based smart agriculture toward making field stock. This is from IEEE Access. Or machine learning in agriculture this is from um, sensors in Switzerland. Okay. Now, if you are already uh, an author of several articles, even one, you can already search for your publications and actually it will automatically provide you links of your publication. So here, <coughs> yes, uh, you can click on my publications if they have one. It will show you all publications that you have completed. So just like this ones. So these are publications which were published in online platform. Okay. And here, if you can observe on the left side here, we have here folders. So actually these folders here contains all studies that was linked to one of uh, my current studies. So example, I did, um, I am studying right now on smart farming per rice. So click the folder here. It contains several articles also. So how did I do this one? I went into literature search and then search for particular studies and then sample. Let's, let's just say we we'll click one of this and then we need to save this one as a reference. You can read actually the abstract of the study right here. Okay, you can read the whole abstract. And then if you wanted to read it later, you can click the save reference button. Okay, save reference button. It will go to save to library. Then say, let's add one more. Okay, and then also save reference. Okay, now under the left side where the folders were located, you can select, I can already see now the uh, part unsorted. So unsorted um, files that you have saved to your library. Now, if you wanted to have this one arranged, you can create a folder, okay, for you to be able to arrange specific topics on a specific folder. Or in my case, I'll add these studies here on the folder under Smart Farming for Rice. So I'll just drag it and then point it to that folder. So after that, you will no longer be able to see the assorted selection. And then if you visit the Smart Farming for Rice, you'll be able to see them, the, the last part here. Okay, that's the oldest one and then it's the latest one. Okay, so these are the two studies we have added. Okay, so that's one example. Also. If you already have copies of PDF documents of articles, you can actually drag it directly into Mendeley desktop. And then it will be um, recorded into the library. Okay, so this would be easy because you can just transfer in any computer and log in your credentials so that you'll be able to see what's the content of your application. Okay, yeah. So those are examples of our articles. And then let's go into our Word. Now, how do we use this? Uh, Mendeley to simplify our citation and referencing. Okay, so let's go to the word. For example, say we have here statements, example statements only. Okay, smart farming is now the common trend. 
in Asia. Just for example, and let's say for example, we have this article here, um, or the, the idea here cited from your source in your Mendeley. So what you can do after um, typing the, the idea or the, the thought or the topic, you can go in citation, okay? And then go to, click the go to Mendeley and select which of the articles actually mentioned such idea. So example, I will choose this one. This is for, just a demo, right? A demo only. Let's say, for example, I click this one and then I'll just, after clicking the article, or say, for example, we have several articles here. So you have three credited articles. And then we need to click site here, send citation to plugin, which we cited directly into our um, Word file. So click site. And then you will see that there's already a citation. So this case here, this is in IEEE format. Okay. All right. So you can also actually replace or, or change the citation style. Just select it over this area here in Mendeley. Okay. So for example, you wanted the APA 6 edition. It will adjust based on APA 6 edition. Or if you want it in um, Chicago Manual, you can have it that way. Or uh, to ASA. Okay. And in here, we go with IEEE only. Okay. Then let's add more. If I'm for example, um, let's, let's say, right, um, students in academic, uh, students in academics are currently working on several um, experiments. To improve the smart farming technology. Okay. Um, based on, say, for example, based on a study conducted by, say, for example, you wanted to do a citation on your um, delay. So a while ago, we have this three articles being cited. Say I will do it, this one, I select this one, just for example, and then click cite. You see it here. So based on a study conducted by four, um, nine out of 10 students are focused on rice planting or say, a focus on smart rice planting. Okay, that's article number four, huh? citation number four. And then say, for example, we need to uh, call again another citation which was mentioned already on previous um, statements. Also, okay, say, for example, it's a citation, go to Mendeley, let's select previous one, say this one, go cite. Right, so if you if you observe the number is just um, used, no previous number is just being rewritten. Okay, also um, this article mentioned that uh, students are uh, successful in creating a robot for harvesting. Okay, so for example, you wanted to uh, present now your references. So what you can do is so just click insert bibliography. Okay, and you'll see all the available citations and references that you have already created. Now, if you wanted to delete one, so for example, I'll delete number four, the statement here, I'll erase it. Okay, actually it will just, um, update our references. So we only have one, two, and three as references. So we can have this one okay. uh, later. And then say we need to add more. So study by, say insert the reason, go to Mendeley, this one, and this one, side, right? So, uh, there will be changes on your 
um, list of articles for the references. It will automatically change it. Okay, and that's it. So that's how you do it. And then if you wanted to do some changes for the citation style, you can just select it uh, the way uh, it should be um, arranged. So say it's on APA, okay? APA citations and APA referencing, right? So arrange alphabetically. Or IEEE is arranged based on the way or the order of its uh, citation. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, two, four, and five. Okay, so that is our uh, demonstration on how to use the Mendeley application to our um, Word as a plugin. All right. Okay, so let's just can I save this one. If you wanted not to save, then click don't save. Okay, again, uh, you can just browse over literature search and select the articles, save as reference, and then arrange it on your folders. So you can also search by filter by authors here on this side here. And say, for example, I already have here um, studies under my folders. Let me search the authors if you want. The publications can search all authors on that folder. Okay. Right. And then you can monitor also um, documents on your recently added. Okay, or if you wanted to search a document, you can just do a search here. Say for this one, okay. This under recently added. In the publications, you will see it also here. Okay, and um, so far that's it for a simple demo on how to use our Mendeley desktop. And I hope you're able to get some information about the demonstration and you'll be able to use this one in your um, assignment to do the literature review matrix in our class. Thank you and um, see you on your next video.